Ian Henderson won from the tail. Devon Toner won from the front. It's Toner who takes a quick throw from Rory Best. Moore established. Set up. Moore is still up here. It's Jamie Heaslip with the ball at the back. A bit tight against the touchline now. Yeah, they've gone to ground. Ball is available, we play. Chris Henry. Bortolami makes the tackle. Now they start to go to the three quarters. It's Gordon Darcy. Josh Fulno tries to hold up the centre. Healy against Barbieri. Tackled. Johnny Sexton inside to Heaslip. Paul O'Connell. Important tackle by Gonzalo Garcia. He's lip. Darcy calls for it. He has it. Brian O'Driscoll. Andrew Trimble. Trimble darts, cuts, stays on his feet. Finally taken to ground. Chris Henry. It's all Ireland. Release him. Henry releases in the nick of time. Good chop tackle by Sarto, the winner on Kean Healy. Italy not releasing penalty against them. You get away quicker, please. Quickly taken. Owen Redden. Kean Healy waits. Ducks passes. No! Try for the prop. Nigel Owens right there on the spot. And all Ireland's pressure counts at last. Well, Owen Redden's entry into the game and taking those quick penalties has certainly made a difference. It's enabled them, given them a rare opportunity to get Italy on the back foot. It's created that ruck with a bit of momentum from which Kian Healy was able to go over just as well he did because he had about four men outside him. As he staggers back, not looking too healthy. That's the quick penalty taken by Redden, knew he wasn't going to get there, Healy lurking and limping it has to be said, so he's going to be coming off fairly soon, supported by Paul O'Connell, there are numbers outside but route, route 1 delivered, that's what Ireland need to do, play more charity as Keane Healy comes off the park, looks off like those ankles that are heavily strapped giving him trouble, off goes the try scorer, He's not the only player to be replaced. Ian Henderson has gone off. Reese Ruddock is on for Henderson. And of course, we've got a front row replacement for Ireland. Jack McGrath is already on. Here's the view in front of Jonathan Sexton. Rory Best is going off as well as Sean Cronin comes on. He's missed it. Well, that's his first miss, and clearly his time at Racing Metro. His stats at the Six Nations, he's the leading. The place-kicking stats at the moment, I'd say he's still after today. So his time done in Racing with Ron Lagar, clearly not doing his place-kicking any harm. Yeah, in a bit of pain there, Healy.